Once I got rid of my poor me attitude, that's when my whole life changed. So first off, let me just introduce myself, you guys. My name is Michelle Allen. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I am a, I am a lead singer in a rock band called Acoustic Vinyl. I am a foster mommy. I am a wife. I am a mother. And I am, hopefully, soon will be famous on YouTube, okay? So I do it all, you guys, and... I just wanted to introduce myself, right? So let me tell you guys a little bit of background on me, okay? So I am a young woman and I have been through a lot and through everything that I've been through, the reason why I, and I'm just flipping through my notes, the reason why I'm sharing this because I want to help somebody. And my story, I, I may not know. There's probably some somebody out there that went through what I went through, right? So I introduced you guys. I told you guys my professions, what I do. So now let's see here. Let me tell you guys about myself, okay? So, so I, so I told you guys about the positive things. Let me highlight the things that I went through, okay? And I wrote it down here. My dad was shot when I was thirteen. He was shot six times, right? He was shot, rushed to the hospital, and was fighting for his life. He survived, right? So after that, he was paralyzed for about two to three years. You guys, excuse me if I, my math, math is not mathing. So after that, he was paralyzed and then he later passed on, right? So during this time, my dad was really sick. I would stay home. I would take care of him. And I did not want to leave his beck and call because that's my dad. I love him. And I wanted to be there every step of the way during this time. So I did not go to school, right? So after my dad being sick, you guys, I missed a lot of school. But I did my best to try to catch up on my schoolwork and still attend like school activities and dances. And I was soft sophomore homecoming queen. So I did my best to have a normal life, right? But a lot of my friends and a lot of people that knew me didn't really know things that I went through. Now, my cousins that were always in the house and that were always with us, they knew. But other people, they knew because they helped and everything. Other people, they did not know. So with that being stated, I missed a lot of school, right? And so then I went to one school and then I transitioned from that school to another school, right? Which I probably should have stayed at the first school, but I didn't. So I transitioned over and when I transitioned over to the other school, right, I was working my little, I was working my little butt off and I was told two days before graduation that I did not pass a class and that I could not graduate, right? How devastating. So I did not get my high school diploma, right? So then also my uncle that I was really close with, you guys, super, super close. His name was Michael Jordan, but we used to call him Measy, a.k.a. Big Measy, R.I.P. Love you so much. Think about him all the time. He was shot, you guys. He was shot in my grandmother's house, and I saw them bring the, ba the body bag out of my grandmother's house. This happened right before, right after I was sophomore homecoming queen, right? So before I was sophomore homecoming queen, right after I won, my mom called my uncle and told my uncle. My uncle was screaming on the phone. And he was talking to me and he was saying, congratulations. He was so excited that I won. I'm getting about to get teary. Sorry. He was, he was, he was so excited that I won and he was screaming and all that. And I won, right? And so then the next day, the next morning, we found out that he was murdered. Okay. So then that's that. Then another instant, my dad passed away and I found my dad deceased when I was walking down stairs so sorry if i'm bouncing around when i was walking downstairs i found my dad deceased and he passed away by the bible now I, I know you guys are probably like why are you guys sharing this because why are you sharing this because there's other people that probably dealt with the same thing i was on youtube and this man he was crying he was like i i saw my dad pass away my dad passed away right in my arms and i can't get that image out of my head so i comment on his on his post and i was like look like i i went through the same thing man i'm here for you i got you i love you sending blessings sending, sending positivity sending love right so that's the reason why i'm sharing it because there's somebody else that probably went through something similar or the same thing as me so i'm gonna share right so after i wrote it down i found my dad uh passed away and then all this stuff was going on you guys all this stuff was going on and then on top of that when i didn't graduate and I apologize for everything. My timeline's all over the place. When I didn't graduate, you guys, I was talked about. I was talked about, but nobody knew what I was going through because I never shared it. Nobody knew. Nobody really knew what I was going through at home with having a paralyzed, sick, 
sad dad that's always on his feet. We were always going on vacations. And then all of a sudden his legs were took from him, right? Nobody understood that. So I was dealing with all these different things, right? All these different, all these, all these different things. It was a lot of stuff going on, right? So my, I went from on top of the world to the bottom down by dirt underneath it, right? Sophomore home coming to clean, positive girl, getting good grades, has a future, working on going to, to school for the center of the arts, you guys, because I've been singing ever since I was three years old. All this stuff from top of the line girl to bottom getting in trouble, making bad, poor decisions, just doing bad, right? So I was at the top of the world, down here at the bottom, depression, just doing bad, okay? So after seeing my life shift like that, I was extremely, extremely depressed, you guys. I was so depressed. And I felt so sorry for myself because I'm like, look, I went through all these horrible things and I have nothing. And I felt sorry for myself. And I was like, this is pretty me, poor me. I'm not gonna lie. I was not going to finish this video, you guys, because I had work today and I was on the computer all day, you guys. And I just got off and it's like, I want to say like 10 o'clock, you guys. So what I was saying is that I, my life like went into like, I was in this deep, dark depression and I felt sorry for myself. And I'm like, look, like I am just broken. I am just shattered, low self-esteem, feeling worthless at this time. Like feeling like I have, what do I have to, what, like, what do I have to live for? You know? And when I say that, I don't mean, I, I do not believe in suicide at all. I don't believe in suicide. I believe in the Bible. And I, and in the Bible, God does not believe in people taking their own lives. So let me just say, tell you guys that. So when I say worthless, like worthless, like I, I, I felt like I just was not worth anything. I wasn't worth being with somebody, a friend. I just, I felt just like a dead zombie, you guys walking around here, numb. And... I went through a lot of horrific things and I just didn't understand why I went through that because I'm a, I was like, I'm a good person. I'm loving. I'm, you know, I mean well. I, I believe in God. I'm doing, trying to do the right thing. And why do these bad things keep happening to me? And I was really resentful, you guys. And I went through a period of time where I didn't even pray because I was so mad. And I was like, and God kept talking to me. He's like, you need to pray. You need to get out your stubborn ways and you need to pray. You need to come to me. You held on to your own understanding. You controlled your own faith and that did not get you anywhere. You did not learn. So you need to let go and come to me and let's move forward and let me assist you, assist you on getting into your destiny, getting to your destiny. You guys, I was so stubborn. I'm like, no, like, why do I need to pray? You know, like, why honestly do I need to pray? I'm a good person. I've been believing in you. I've been going to church. I've been trying. And then all these bad things ha are happening to me. Like, I really feel like it was really, like, just messed up. Let me just say that. Keep it PG. I thought it was messed up. So I stayed in that mindset for a very long time. And I noticed that as long as I stayed in that mindset, nothing went good for me. Because I was negative. I was negative thinking all the way around. And when you negative, when you think negative, you, you attract negativity. And that's what I did. In my life, nothing was going, even when I tried to make my dreams come true, dreams come true. I didn't really believe in it. I didn't really believe in myself. So what am I doing this for? So I was in a very sunken, sunken place. And... From these horrific things happening to me and for me experiencing just bad things, I'm like, there's no good come out of this. No good, right? So, me being stubborn as heck, I decided to, I had a meltdown, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I had a complete meltdown, you guys. I isolated and I was just really, I was in my room. I remember I caught off work. And I was in my room and I was just like thinking, 
about everything my whole entire life over you guys just like thinking just me and God you guys just thinking just thinking right and I remember I got so angry because God kept telling me let go let go of the bitterness let go of feeling sorry for yourself feeling sorry for yourself it's not it, it's like you're, you're drinking poisoning you're harming you're, you're only doing harm to yourself let it go and i did not you guys so me and my me in this me in the room just thinking my life over and i just had like a complete meltdown you guys i just start you know when you cry you start knocking stuff over i'm sweeping in the air you guys i'm i'm just mad you guys just crying crying right so mad just had a moment then i sat down and I said, God, I'm done feeling sorry for myself. I'm tired of holding on to all this hurt, all this pain, all this anger, all this resentment. I turn my life over to you. I'm going to go. <sighs> I turn my life over to you. I'm going to go. And I let go. And after I let go, you guys, I no longer feel sorry for myself. Before I asked God, I'm like, why me? And God told me, why not you? Why not you? So, Feeling so once I once I let go, you guys, and once I really stopped saying, "Poor me, poor me, poor me," that's when my whole entire life it just changed, you guys. I turned my negative thinking around. I started thinking more positive, you guys. And even if I didn't want to, you guys, I just tried to find the good. Even if it's waking up, you guys, I used to wake up and be like, "F today," and then I was like, "Today is gonna be a good day," yeah. You know, just like simple things like that. And I noticed that it started, it started building up over time. And then I started feeding myself just beautiful things. You're beautiful. You're worthy. You know, you have a beautiful mind. You have a beautiful spirit. Start feeding myself just positive words. Instead of the negative words, I was telling myself, failure, trash, not good for nothing. Won't accomplish nothing. I told myself, be sorry for yourself. You went through all this stuff, you didn't deserve that. Be sorry for yourself. Got it, got out, I got out of that mindset. No more victim mentality. My mindset, you guys, has just been on a whole nother level. But what God, when he wanted to change and me wanting to get out of that space, sometimes you guys, you gotta pull yourself out of that space. And sometimes it seems impossible, but it's not. You can. You can do it. 